Hi everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna and today I have the first of three pop-up cards that I am going to share with you. Uh, this past weekend I had my last uh, virtual class before I take a short break for summer and the theme of our card class was pop-up cards and this is the first one uh, that we made and I just love it it's it's very very easy to make and it has such a wow factor I hope this shows up good on camera when you open it up pow isn't that cute it's just adorable and it's so easy to make so uh, let's get started and let's see this is the one that I made as my sample for the class and then at the class itself I made this one and these papers both come from the new peach suite. Let me get, grab the paper here. It is called the Your Peach Designer Series Package. And you can see it has all of these great um, designs. Peaches, 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 peaches. It's just so adorable. I've used quite a bit of it, as you can see. So um, this is... One of the ones, this is the one that I made as a sample here using this paper. And this is the one that I made with the ladies at class. And then the paper that I'm going to use today, I um, don't have any more big sheets to show you. So I'm just gonna show you the small sheet. So let me move these off to the side so we have a little more room here. And this is our card kit. Let me just open it all up. And so we have a piece of um, Pierre Pizazz, four and a quarter by 11. So it's half a sheet of paper. And we're gonna score this. I'm gonna bring in my, my paper trimmer and uh, I'm gonna score it. I'm going to put the 11 inch side along the top and I'm going to come in and score it at four and one half, excuse me, four and one quarter. I'm going to score at four and one quarter and then I'm going to scooch it over and score at five and one half. Now you can, I'm sure you can't see those score lines, but I'm going to fold it at the five and a half and there it is right in, it's in half. And that is a regular card. This score line here is where the card is actually going to open from. Because you see, this is called a book bind fold. And it's like a bound book. And this is the part that opens. So um, we needed to make that score line. So that is um, the base. Now, this is the beautiful designer series paper. It has peaches. And I just love the vibrant peaches. The colors are just so wonderful. Growing up, my father um, had many, many fruit trees in his yard. And peach trees were abundant in his yard. So he used to enjoy um, a nice fresh peach sitting under his peach tree in his hammock every Sunday. Um, so I do enjoy peaches and the memories that they trigger for me. So this is a piece of the designer series paper and it is cut four by five and one eighth. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and I'm going to cut it so that I have a four inch piece here and a one and one eighth piece there. So I'm gonna scooch this over to one and an eighth. Okay. Oops, where's my score blade? My cutting blade. There it is. Now I want to make sure I keep those in the right direction because I do want them to attach seamlessly. So there's how they're going to go right there. So I'm going to bring in my adhesive and I'm going to attach this to my card. Okay. And again, this is four by four on this side. And I'm going to just use, have a little border. And this is one and one eighth by four. 
So I'm going to attach some adhesive on that one. And then again, I'm going to have a little border here. And I want the top and the bottom to line up. Okay, so there's that. Let me make sure I'm in I'm in the camera here. Okay. Now before I um adhere this down, I want to attach my ribbon because I'm going and I want to use a ribbon that's fairly thin because if I don't use a if I use a thick ribbon, it's gonna be bulky. So I have a piece of retired Pierre Pizzazz seam binding, and I'm just going to use that. And I'm gonna make a simple knot right here. Okay, and there's my knot. And with my scissors, I'm just going to cut it this way. Now, our, our front is just about made. We'll come back and dress it up in a bit. So I'm gonna open it up. And now I'm gonna start fixing the inside of it so that it'll pop. First thing I wanna do is Put adhesive on this tiny little piece here and I want to fold it over and now when I open the card it's going to open this way okay Next we have a piece of the designer series paper this is cut six by six and this is this year we're going to make some folds too the first thing we're gonna do is bring it from the bottom I'm gonna turn it over and fold on the back side. So from the bottom up, and I'm going to fold. Okay, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to turn it around 90 degrees, and now I'm going to go fold it up again. I'm going to try to get my edges as close as I can. Now you'll see it's folded in four equal sides. It went once this way and once this way, okay? Now I'm gonna take the paper and I'm going to turn it at a diagonal, so it's shaped like a, a, a diamond. And I'm going, a diamond, and I'm going to bring up my corners and I'm gonna make a triangle out of it, okay? Only once, we're not turning it around. So we've made three fold, this way, this way, and this way, okay? So now, we want to make the pop-up mechanism. And when it opens up, this part here, let me see, show you. These here that have the horizontal line are mountains, okay? So now we have to compact it all together to make it pop like this, right? So the way we do that is we find our fold that was the horizontal one, the one that we made on the diagonal, and those we know need to be a mountain. And now we have a score line here and here, and we're gonna bend on those, those score lines. So see how it's gonna pop up together? It's gonna pop like that. And when we bring these in, this one is, this other side is going to just take shape too. And there we go, okay? So let me show you that again. Here's our, our paper. And it does help if you use a bone folder to um, really crease that paper. But don't go too crazy because it is designer series paper. So again, we have this mountain in the middle and we're gonna fold, okay? Then we have these two scores over here and we want those to be valleys. So we're going to push those in, okay? And when we push those in, this here is going to come up. And if you end up with this nice square, okay? I know it seems very complicated, but it really isn't. It really, really isn't. So now we just have to attach that to this paper, this piece here, okay? Now, the important thing is that, oh, the important thing is that you position this so that all of these points are inside your um, card base. And 
it might be a speck off, but that's okay, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it, and there we have it, right there, right? We're gonna put adhesive on all four sides. And again, we're going to just position this so that it is within the edges. And if you find that this side is in and this side is out, just give it a little twist. Okay, there we go. Perfect, and now we're gonna bring our top flap down. Okay, and now when we open it, that's attached. And now we're gonna fold it back up, turn it backwards, and okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing here. But a good point would be, if you're going to stamp this card with your um, information, you might wanna do that now before you actually attach that because then you won't have a, um, a smooth surface to, to stamp on. Okay, so I've got my name on it. All right, so again, front is attached. We're going to flip it over, and now we're going to put adhesive on this side. Okay, and we're going to bring this flap down. All right, and when we open it up, there we go. We have a nice pop. Okay, now we have to do our decorating and our stamping. So for my label in the front, I cut out this piece here, and I got that from the Stitch So Sweetly dies which is this set here, and I used the third one up. You can see, there's my piece. Okay, goes right there. Okay, that's where I got that. And the stamp set I'm using is the Sweet as a Peach, and it's part of the... Um, Sweet as a Peach Sweet. So it has the um, stamp set, it has a set of dies, and it has that beautiful paper that we used. And this is the stamp set here. You can stamp your own peaches, and it has a ton of nice sentiments. <laughs> so here is my stitched label. And using the stamp that says, Happy Birthday, I'm going to ink that up in Pierre Pizzazz. And I'm going to stamp that right down here on the bottom right corner. Straight down and straight up. Okay? And I'm going to put that aside. Then I have two pieces of cardstock. One is pure pizzazz. And this is cut at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And I have a piece of basic white, which is cut at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. This piece here is going to go here. Okay, that's where I'm going to uh, write my sentiment. Now, the reason I mounted it, you could certainly just do that, but I thought the white kind of just got lost in all of that um, beautiful designer series paper. So that's why I gave it a tiny mat like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my card so that the square is sideways, like that. And I've mounted the two stamps, the two sentiments from this stamp set that says, It's your day, let's celebrate you. And I'm going to ink those up in Pierre Pizzazz as well. And I'm going to come up here and straight down, straight up. And my stamping is done. I'm going to attach that to my Pierre Pizzazz square. It's a tiny little border. Like I said, I just wanted it to uh, pop against that uh, designer series paper. And now I'm going to put adhe adhesive on that. 
and I'm going to pop that in right here. Now, if you wanted more space to write, if you were going to write a message, you could just do this again and attach one up here and you could write your note here. But this is fine for me. I'm just going to sign my name right there. Okay. So the inside of my card is done. Now, my outside, I have stamped my happy birthday and with some dimensionals, I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to pop that up on my card base. One, two, three, four. And oh, I'm going to come off. All right, there we go. I'm going to attach this oh, right about here. Now, part of the peach dies. This is the set of the peach dies. And it has lots, lots of stuff. Yeah, let me bring in this stamp set so you can see what you can cut out. You have a die to cut out these three peaches. You have a die to cut out these three flowers. Doesn't quite fit because this is smaller. Uh, you have a die to cut out this here. And obviously, like I said, this is a smaller um, image. You have a die to cut out this large piece, peach, excuse me. You have a die to cut out those leaves. You have uh, a label, you have a stem, and then you have all of these leaves. These leaves here um, die cut and emboss that little line. And you also have um, some dies. There were three of these dies that when each passed, you, you cut out three little flowers. Those are small. It also has this one, which the flowers are a tiny bit larger. And that's the die that I use for my decoration. But I did want to show you all those dies so you can see um, just what comes with it. Now, I've already die cut mine just to save a little bit of time. So I'm going to bring them right here. And with my glue pen, I'm going to attach them. I'm going to put a daub of glue there, a daub of glue there, and a daub of glue there. And I'm just going to drop those right over there. Now, when I die cut these, the little insides on these two didn't pop out. But the inside on this one came out. And when I see that, that's just screaming for a, for a jewel, don't you think? So I have some basic jewels. And I'm going to just add one. And each one right there. And that, my friends, is it. Isn't that sweet? Sweet little peaches? Sweet little peaches. It's your day. Let's celebrate you. And like I said, this is the one that I made oops, as my sample for the card class. This is the one I made with the ladies at the card class. And this is the one that we just made together today. And I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, certainly contact me, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And I'll be happy to, have, to answer any of your questions about the project or any of the products that I used. And if you do not have a current Stampin' Up! demonstrator with whom you work, certainly let me know and I'll be glad to pop a copy of the new annual catalog in the mail to you. And um, next month, the new fall winter catalog is uh, going to be out and I'd be glad to put you on my mailing list for that as well. If you enjoyed this project, I hope that you will give my video a thumbs up and that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll catch you back here later with another pop-up card.